<laughs> I did have a lot of, of quite good stuff there, yeah, quite stuff, but I thought it would last time and that was really interesting, but uh, I'm just taking a look up there. Oh. Sorry, I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm only over the road, I'm in Bentley. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. We've got a... Um, we only buy I'll see if I've got a uh, business card on there. Yeah. I should have. This is one of the reasons I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much are the games, mate? Uh, £1.50 each. They all Xbox 360 ones? Yeah, there's two Xbox ones. Oh, original Xbox ones? Uh, yeah. Oh, Xbox One? Oh, right. Okay. Is that a chance, 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 Is that a ch
I think this place is good. Ah. Good to sell him. It can be sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hit and miss. <laughs> How much is a Mario party game? Fiver. Fiver. Good to see you over here. Yeah, see you later on, yeah. Yeah, sure though. Ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. If I remind him, might do later for him. It might be his. Right. Very unlikely. Kind of blue stone too. Generally, over there. If you do, someone knows what it is. I've only found a vinyl tape for the hour. Long time ago. The record's real. Watch your controllers. Yeah, sit down, Chris. I don't think I had it on buddy record. That's it. That is all I got. One game. Out of all of those games you saw, I got one game. Barnstorming for the Atari. Now, I wasn't expecting to see any Atari games whatsoever. Um, I asked if it was tested, and she was like, yeah. I said, on what console? And she was like, so it's not tested. She doesn't know what machine it's for, but I'm loving the Atari at the moment, 2600. Absolutely love playing that. Uh, I'm really struggling with getting together and working out my Spectrum stuff and the Commodore 64 stuff, so I might end up moving it on. But there's no hard feelings whatsoever because I've discovered this 8-bit greatness of arcade ports on the Atari, so I love it so, so much. And from all the recent boot sales, there's been so much Xbox 360 games. You know, you get the odd PS1, no greats in there. There's been so much 360 games. There's a big pile in the corner of the room behind the camera there of games that I've tried out, I don't like them, I'm willing to trade in, or games I've already got, or games I know I can flip them and triple the money. So they're all there to trade in, which I'll do another video and get stuff I want for my own collection. And I've discovered some great Xbox 360 games as well. I've discovered the Sniper Elite series. Um, there's some really good, like some horror games. There's some really great games I've discovered, so no hard feelings. I've played so much Xbox and Xbox 360 over the last couple of weeks. There was nothing there today that really caught my eye. There's a few games there which I thought, oh, I could buy that for a pound, trade it in for three quid, but there were such small margins. There was nothing there that jumped out to me which I really felt was worth it. I felt a little bit, I bumped into Mitch again from Retro Rummage today. I said to him, I felt a bit like overwhelmed today. It was so, so busy. There was lots of people there, um, all sort of doing the same sort of thing as we're doing. Um, and there's just a lot going on. It's, wasn't quite feeling it today, so there were so many games there. There was only a couple of little things. I think, should I have got that? But there's always tomorrow, and we'll be back tomorrow anyway. So, yeah, I didn't pick anything up. And then when I stumbled across this um, barnstorming, I haven't heard of this game. I quickly walked away. She wanted 15 quid for it, which is fair enough. That is what it's worth. You could probably sell it for that or more on eBay. There's not many of them. You have to pay postage from other countries. Um, and the fact that it's boxed as well. I don't collect box Atari games. I've got three, six. I've got about 12 games over there at the moment, um, which I'm playing. There's a couple I'm getting rid of, which I don't quite like. Adventure, Double Dragon, Double Dragon, <laughs> Double Dragon, and so and so on. Um, but this game, yeah, I mean, you don't need the boxed games for the Atari because they stack so well on the shelf. I don't want to point the camera around so I won't be able to get it back to the right angle. But yeah, they stack and look so well displayed loose cart. So I'm not too bothered about having the box games. Um, but yeah, it was for the box, so obviously complete. With it. It's all in there, it's lovely as well. It's got the manual. She wanted 15 quid. I walked away three times, come back, tried to do 10, I have none of it. Ended up getting it for 12 quid. I checked out the footage of the game and it looked really fun, so can't wait to play this. Um, and then when I do the next high score challenge um, for next year or later on in the year, um, I'm going to do it purely for Atari 2600, so an Atari series. If you're into your Atari 8 bit arcade ports, make sure you check it out. But yeah, let me know, guys, was there anything there I missed? There was a few things um, you might have saw and thought, oh, that was worth it. Like, I tried to put in some of the comments. Um, there's a few things I caught off camera as well, like the uh, Mario Party 8, that was heavily scratched. You get a lot of resellers selling things for quite a good price, and obviously they know how much it's worth, so you've got to think, why are they doing that? It's normally stuff they can't trade in at CEX generally, or something they can't move in because it's heavily scratched. Um, so yeah, this wasn't anything that great there for me today. I got beaten there by a few people. I only got there like, it opens at 10. I got there like 7 or 10, but yeah, there wasn't anything great. But let me know if there's anything you did see in the footage you think I might have missed out on. I'll try to reply to all the comments. And yeah, that's what I got. Bloody barnstorming. I have all those Xbox games. 
Um, and Goldtooth, if you're watching this, I don't think there was anything too exciting there that you haven't got from your collection. There was a couple I thought maybe he hasn't got it. Um, I can't think what it was, but it was nothing super rare or anything like that. It was some regular run-of-the-mill gaming stuff. But anyway, I'm Scott from Marathon Gaming. Thank you for watching. We'll be back soon with another video. See you guys soon. And make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment. And please, it's free, guys. It's free. Leave a sub for us. Subscription would help massively. Cheers, guys. See you too soon. Peace. I'm Mario. And I am the Hedgehog. And today, with this... <laughs> I'm fast as fuck, boy!